Hello everybody, my name is Gothic Lord UK. This is a slug's dream. It came out a couple of weeks ago and I played the demo three months ago and I knew as soon as I played the demo I would be coming back for the full release so checking it out now. This is a Sokoban puzzle pushing game kind of makes me think of um, uh, Count of Wormholes and Snakebird to some extent but not quite but our goal is to just get into each level and eat all the flowers before leaving. So if we turn left to eat this flower, we can't go across the hot rocks because fire burns us. But then when we back out, we can push that and it will tip over, allowing us to eat this other one. And we can also climb up vertical surfaces slightly as a slug, but we'll learn more about that soon, I'm sure. Delicious flower. I can't go up there or up here. Oh, I can back up into it and cause it to tip over. Is that what I'm learning? Is it because my back end is kind of slightly more pointed? Understood. And now we need to get to that, but we can't climb up here. So what can we do? I can push to slide, or I assume if I use my tail, I can tip upright. And now that is off at an angle. Now I can't climb up this, can I? So does this all need to go one over? Good. Delicious. And now we are introduced to portals. So I eat that one. Then we have a red portal. Ah, no. Oh, I can push portals around. Let me go through the blue portal. Now the arrow keys are always oriented with the screen not with the orientation of the slug. So that's important to remember. That'll take a little bit of getting used to, I'm sure. How are we going to get that flower? Well, not like this, because I need some way of getting up higher. Can I fill in the gap with you? And then possibly make a different staircase. No. What do I need to get this? Like, I can also rotate the camera with Q and E. So to get a side on view of this flower if we need it. There's always that part of my brain that remembers that I almost certainly solved this puzzle when I did the demo, and now I have to re-figure out what's going on, but that's quite all right. Uh, I worry that I've put this in a unhelpful spot now that I look at it twice. Okay, I want to be on that one there. Can I do that with what I have? Because the problem is that moves sideways. So if I put that there and this on top of that, I can climb this. Ah. I don't go up to where I wanted to be. Because this almost certainly needs to be upright, although is there ever a world where I can stack the smaller ones on the big one? I don't think so. But that seems to be a necessity. It's then how do I climb on this without it being moved away? So 
I can't climb upwards from here. Come on, Brain, you can figure this out. This shouldn't be the hard bit. We've just started. I want to step off of this to the right. If I put this one on that, that just moves, which is no good to me. What if I make... That can't go there. If that goes... Ah! Stop. That goes there. I still can't get higher than this. Let's go try pillars instead. So, this we clearly need to tip over. Oh my goodness. Brain, learn what the buttons do. Now, I can also do it this way, which saves the pillar. And I guess I need to do that for both pillars so that I can recover both of them for getting to the far back flower. So we start with that. Then jump up on top. And then I need to push this backwards over to yeah. Good. That one was nice and easy. Islands. Well, I've got two blocks. How are we going to cover all of this distance with two blocks? Is a great question. Can I kind of move one block with the other? Not really. Not in the way that I feel like I want to. If we put one upright and then un-upright it, gets me to here. Oh, I see. This block needs to do double duty in making single transferable gaps. I could just get back in the portal right well. What was my brain missing here? There's probably multiple ways to do this, honestly. Can I tip this over that? I can. That's very interesting. But not very helpful. <laughs> that won't come out of there. That won't tip now with the other one in place. And that makes two layers that are equidistant from one another. I feel like I'm not using this piece at the back correctly in some manner. It's how do I climb onto something higher without it sliding away? 
because I can't chip that up onto another block. What if these two are just in here? No, doesn't work. Oh, I think I've got it. Fill in the back one, or the front one, and this. And then tip this up to here. No, because that's going to push forward, isn't it? God damn. <laughs> I can't do that puzzle. I'm mad about it. Chasm. Well, clearly, we need a platform to reach. But that's not enough. What if can I do that and then ah oh, yes who needs to jump off when you can just do it that way I can push this if I put that in front of there no. It's not doing what I was hoping it was going to do. Oh, that kind of does. How can I manipulate this sideways thing? Because I could tip that over. That's interesting. I can't... I can climb on top of this if I want to. But I can't tip it over. What if I do... this? Oh! I filled... I've caused water to spill out of the teleporter. Well, clearly I'm not doing something quite right. That causes me to block my own way, but not in a way that I can push the teleporter. And I can't push this one sideways up here. So what can I do with that teleporter otherwise? This is a 2x2 two two brick. That doesn't work. That just sends me through. And I can only push this from the side. Now what if then I want to Well stop that. I wanna push that over, then push this down like that, and then I can move this inwards, and then I can tip it over flat. And use it as a platform. Goody. Beam. That is a big boy. What else can I do with that? Well, I can, I think. I can move that, but only resulting in myself falling back into the water. If 
That doesn't work. Interesting, if it's too wide... It can move the teleporter. How can that help me? Well, for a start, I can get over like this. But how then do I get back over? Can I tip this over? I bet I can if it's one further along, except I'd have to be really careful. No, I can't tip it over that way. Can I tip it over that way? I can. I'll do it. I have no idea if that was the intended way, but it's the way that I found. Well done, you managed to solve it without entering portals, nor doing something else. Maybe it did understand my special method. Still annoyed by this one, though. Like, there's some part of this my brain isn't observing that I feel like should be super simple, but is not. Don't know why. If I put that there. That just slides over it. Why can my brain not figure out how to make something taller out of what I have? with resistance. The resistance is the bit that I can't make. Look, I understand I can tip this over and that it won't help me. Why does my brain not see the solution to this one silly little slug puzzle? Clearly, I can climb up here. So that would get me one high to here. Then I need to be one higher than that. So if I put this here, that's the same height. I put this underneath. Put that on. That pushes away from me. And if I do this, it still pushes away from me. Silly brain. River. Well, this tramples my flower, so we have to eat the flower first. Then, how am I getting past... What's behind there? What's, what's, what's behind... Are there no secret flowers? Secret flowers? No? Okay. That gets my butt wet. Can I... I can't get this away from the wall, I don't think. That makes my butt wet still. 
that won't flip upwards. I'm too eager at running off the edges of levels. Can I get this away? No, I can't get it away from the, the wall, I don't think. So how do I get over this water? Oh, can I do this? Watch this. I made myself a tunnel. Great stuff. Inconvenient. That does seem inconvenient. Here's the thing, right? I can eat these. And then can I move this out of the way of my delicious thing? I can, but now I have a problem. But can I just get rid of that problem? Yes, I can. I'm so excited about the things that might exist in this overworld. Right. I've got red just making this waterfall. And then green being around and about. How am I going to get presumably green? Yeah, get green to put out that fire, I think. Because I presume that I can kind of... Mm. How can I get green to do other things? Is there a way that I could, like, flip this around three times to be facing a different direction? Or anything like that? If I put that there, can I push this backwards? I can't. So... I want green getting water, but not there. I'm not sure what I can do with these teleporters to make this work. I can't tip them over in a way that I want to. Because I can't get this one away from this wall. if I do this next to nothing does not put out the fire I just can't see which way to orient this Hold on. What if I could use green to escape back to the other side in a minute? I guess I can't this way round. Hmm. 
Now that one is perplexing me. And then we have like all kinds of directions to go. Who knows like what the general intended route for all this stuff is. Can't push the trees around. There could be secrets hidden anywhere in this overworld. But I guess I'm just going to stay with kind of the green stuff. That gives me a straight shot to all my flowers. Fire in the hole. Good grief. What are we doing with that? And then I have an... Oh, no, it's not an L-shaped piece. It's two separate shaped pieces. But I don't get rid of the fire on the underside of the hole. Which I guess makes the fire in the hole note. What if I do that? No, I can't make the water run left, I don't think. Well, if I do that, and then that, I just make myself... Ah, I crushed a flower, huh? So, I can't do that and then push it away. I don't think. Hold on. I can move more of the fire. But then if I were to tip this over, I can't. There's going to be some better way to produce water here, isn't there? If I push this over to that edge first. Alright, we'll do it on the bottom edge then, because the bottom edge has two sides available. If I match that to that. And then push this in front of this. I still aren't pass this by. Wait. No, I need one more tile of space somehow. Which would mean pushing this over. But that doesn't work. 
fire ladder. How are we getting the top ones? It's a great question. Definitely can't do that. I basically can't tip it upright once it's upside down because I will always be in the path of the flow at that stage. Not that tile, that tile. No, clearly that's not going to work. So if I tip this over, the water is effectively coming out of the top. It means that can happen. Ha 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 ha! Very nice. I've elevated the water. Fire in the hole we looked at. Temple? Jeez. Well, we have the green teleporter here. Can I push the green teleporter somewhere more functional? Like what if I do... something really daft? No, this was, this was too daft. Can't tip that up that way. I'm assuming I want to get water out of this green one. Because I can put the, uh, the stone through it, but I don't think that's going to be helpful to me. What if I put it through long ways? It's going to be more effort than it's worth to try and flip it that way, isn't it? Oh, wait. I know exactly what to do. That one's simple. Eat those flowers, buddy. Secluded. Interesting. Once I get over, how am I getting back? Clearly that extra stone piece is here for a reason, because I cannot drop off immediately. can do this, but not this because I will fall in the water that I have created. Don't know what to do with this now that I've put that there. All right, I tell you what, we've gone way too long already. I've been entranced with sluggy puzzles, and now it's already been well over a half hour. So join me next time. We'll keep exploring, keep seeing what we can find. We may well go back and try and understand freaking well. But 
for now thank you very so much for watching if you want to check out the game for yourself as ever there will be a link down in the description below otherwise i'll see you in the next one cheers